Hey there guys, my name is Marques and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how we can easily use Purtio. Purtio is amazing software and I believe after watching this video you will know exactly how to use it. Now if you're starting out and you don't know uh, like what kind of things how to do the invoicing or forms in Purtio, ask me down below in the comments and I, I'll be really happy to help you. So get started, it's free. Like if something is not going to be clear to you. Now I will just add a first name, workspace name, email address, password, and this is how we are going to start. And let's see until it loads. Now I'm going to get a confirmation code, you will get two. And now the first thing first, you need to set up the uh, like language time zone week start day date format then next what is you do then which features do you need like you can disable some of them or you can enable that's like up to you then goals uh, if you want to invite other people you can invite them right here and then get started you can get started with demo data. My recommendation do that. You can learn everything there and then you continue to create, you like delete everything and then you're gonna continue with a new one. So what you can find here and how we can actually work here. So first thing first in home, this is like a dashboard of invoices, proposal, tasks, projects, timesheets, everything. So then when you're home, the next thing are tasks. In tasks, I can simply create a task. Let's say this is going to be um, call a math. Let's see, going to have also the assignee follow custom field. So let's say this is going to be call Matthew. Create a task. See, and what I can do here. So when I'm going to click on a task, I can have a start. I can then have a due date. I can have repeats, assignee, followers and created by. Then you can simply add a comment, a subtask, attachments and you can add a timesheets, a time entry for this task. Now you can also add a signee, see, and voila here you got it. So this is how you can simply uh, like see the tasks here. Now when you go even further, you're going to have the projects. And let's say I want to add a project. So I would go again to top right. And I would click project. Project name, let's say YouTube channel. If you're going to template, you would find it right here. But you can also always create a new template client, members, and start, and deadline. So again, this is like really easy uh, how we can do it. Then create a project, and voila. What I can actually do here, this is really important. You can add a project description, you can add a billing, change the hourly rate, it's going to be like five dollars. Let's say budget. This is going to be ten thousand. You can add a custom field, and then you can also a project menu editor. So what do you actually need? Invoices, set to landing page, or settings set to landing page. What do you need? You can remove the options here. And now when you got it, uh, we can go step by step. The first thing first are in projects, the tasks. This is really similar to what we are creating. So I can again write a YouTube video, create a task. I can click on it and fill everything here. That's what we are already doing. So this is how you can add a task. You can switch between the list view, the card view, the timeline view. If you have the due date and uh, like also the start date in timeline view, you would find it. Then you have also the calendar here. In calendar, 
you can also uh, like add here timesheets timesheets are also pretty simple so you can add let's say this is going to be finished like here in duration 72 hours and the title attachment description tracked by and billing rate let's say this is going to be okay cost rate create time entry and cost rate let's say this is going to be 1000 or paid billing rate 5 time tracked so this is how you can do it now this is how the timesheet works you can also see always the full view the cost view the billing view uh, now if you there is also the alchemy behind the timesheets on how we can work with it so if you can have any questions guys ask me down in comments you can see like time tracked here 72 hours and if i cost status it's paid you see that it's 360 dollars then the next div are invoices and invoice let's say to company select template if i have you can i can use it issue date today due date 14 13 create invoice and voila here i got it so i can simply fill everything here to company from then add items here then a month so let's say this is going to be a youtube consultation description i can add simply uh, youtube video amount let's say it's going to be one thousand dollars and summary tags i can change that if i want to discount so when i have it and when i fill it in so there are one bill with tasks for youtube channel worth of 360 dollars i can add it to invoice i can go to top right and i can send the invoice i can mark it paid I can copy the link, I can even download it or duplicate it or save it as a template or delete it. So again, you have option what you can do here with the invoice. So I can like send the invoice and uh, send it to someone. So that's something you can do too. And um, that's pretty much it. Now, when I would go back, I can go to subscriptions, get paid on time every time, easily set up a recurring billing with manual invoicing or automatic credit card payments. So this is another thing that you can do, a new subscription. And this is similar, but right now you're not going to have a one invoice. You are going to create a schedule every, let's say one month, one week, one year. So this is going to this is going to repeat. So this is a great schedule that you can have. And that's a subscription. Then you have also proposals here. So that's also to put to your template. If you have, you can find it. Create it today. Expiry date in August. Then again, as you can see, you get plus your signatures, signature, and I can simply click plus here and I can add a content, right? So I can click here and add a content. Um, let's say, please click here and add a video. So here you can simply create, this is just based on your imagination. Uh, what you can get here and again on the top right you can send the proposal so you can always create a template save it and then send it as a proposal that's nothing that much difficult now when you're in proposals you would find a proposal here contracts this again you can simply click create contact contract here and it's similar add a contact content canvas video and you would send it to someone and they're going to uh, like when you're going to create a new contract mm, 
actions you can choose like who is going to who is this contract for for what kind of client conversation in conversations you would have a conversation with your team in your project then you have files here in files you can easily add files upload document link folder this is something that you can do here in wiki you can create a wiki in help center for the project that you are creating and then you have members here so again you're going to have a client and owner now when you have financials here uh, these are the invoices that we for example created and i can always create a new invoice directly here and we already learned how to do that you can of course like add a person so everything you see on the left side you can do on the right side too then you have also proposals here then uh, you have contracts same thing will be learned so that's what you can do too and how we can create it contacts you can simply go again to top right and click a new contact and I'm going to teach you how we can do that. So first name is going to be Marcus client, user role if it's a contributor or a co-owner or a client, email address. phone number, company name, and you can create a pro profile. You can always add the client for the project, the start date, the end date. So if I'm going to add a new project, I can add a contact directly uh, to my project. If it's a coworker, I can add it right there. So I can send directly contract if I'm going to have email to this client. Then calendar, in calendar you can see everything here. So you can see uh, what is happening, what is going to happen, when it's going to happen. Um, and you can switch between month, week, day. Then you have also inbox here. In inbox again you have direct groups projects, wiki as a help center, timesheets. This is what we learned already. But again you can go simply click new here. Started, finished, let's say tomorrow or today at 7 p.m. duration three hours this is a YouTube video tracked by Marcus category billing rate I can go with let's say 50 cost rate 25 and that's pretty much it how it works so I can have a billable and change the cost status and billing status. Then you have also the forms here. When I would go to the top right, nef, elect, uh, create a form. And this works really similar. You just add here all the important stuff as a, let's say input, short text, field title. You can have a question, then they would like reply it, and then you can like preview it. So let's say I would add how much money you want I would preview it see and this is how it looks like and the last step are files what we already learned where you can like upload the files and this is pretty much it how it works you can like this is a workspace and I, what I can do I can create a new workspace name so the wor first workspace is mine the Sanwi but you can always have multiple workspaces and this is pretty much the Plutio works. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help and provide you some guidance. And yeah, have a great day, guys, and goodbye. See ya. Now, if you don't know anything about Plutio and you want to learn how you can do better timesheets or calendar or something, just let me down below in the comments and I will help you. Have a great day and goodbye.